Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up port security by first enabling it, setting up the MAC address, the number of MAC addresses allowed, and the violations. So let's get into it. All right, and so we are right back where we started in the last video where we set up a DHCP pool. Let's go ahead and let's throw in a, another laptop here real quick. And this one is going to be the bad guy. Duh. First things first, let's go ahead, let's configure port security so that our bad guy can't get onto this network. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, first things first, sign in. So jack.tastic1234. We'll enable one, two, three, four, and then get into configure terminal mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna interface with a range of ports, and we're gonna start with fast ethernet zero slash two through 23. Same ports we've been using the entire time. And we'll save ports one and 24 for something coming in another video. So we're interfacing with these ports now, and all we have to do is do switch port, or SW for short, port tax security, and hit enter. So that's gonna enable port security. Now we need to configure port security because otherwise it's not gonna do anything. So we're gonna use switch port port security and we have a couple configs here. We have aging, MAC address, maximum, and violation. So aging, uh, if you have a MAC address that's pulled by the sticky method, that'll go ahead and after a certain amount of time, release that MAC address so that if something else is plugged into that port, it can pull that MAC address. Uh, we have MAC address, which is the first setting we're going to do, and that's going to have, uh, I'll show you actually, so MAC TAC address, it's going to have the manual entry and the sticky. So sticky is a lot more convenient, it's just a bit less secure. Um, so the manual option is you type in the MAC address of the device, so it would be like the MAC address on the Ethernet port of a laptop. However, the sticky address version uh, we'll just go ahead and pull it from the first device that is plugged in or the third or fourth or however many you allow in the maximum. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do sticky. Then we're going to do switch port port security maximum. And this is the number of MAC addresses that can be stored within this single port. So we're just going to go ahead and do one so that we can trigger our violation after. And then we're going to do switch port port security violation and we're gonna do shutdown. So if the maximum is reached, it's gonna go ahead and shut it down, or surpassed rather, it's gonna go ahead and shut it down. So those are all the configurations we need to do for right now, so let's go ahead, exit out of here, and we're gonna go ahead and send some network traffic through all these devices real quick. So I just went ahead and sent a ping command from each laptop to another laptop on the network. And if I go ahead and do a do show run now, we should see we have MAC addresses assigned to our three ports that are being occupied. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna disconnect this laptop here, laptop three, which is plugged into port number two. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug it into the bad guy. So you might notice that the port didn't go down right away, but that's because it hasn't sent any network traffic. So let's go ahead and let's request a DHCP uh, address from our DHCP server. And it's going to shut down the port, just like that. So the bad guy failed to request an address and the port was shut down. So how can we tell? So we can see here the port was changed to down and what we can do is we can do um, exit out of here and we'll do show port tax security and then we'll do interface FA0 slash 2. And so it'll show us here it was shut down, um, port security is enabled but it's in secure shutdown mode. And we can see the violation uh, numbers and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to disable this port and then turn it back on and that'll allow us to pull a new sticky address. But first things first, let's go ahead and disconnect the bad guy. So we'll connect back into our good guy. The port will stay down until we fix this. So let's go ahead and interface with fast ethernet zero slash two, that port that was shut down. 
and we're just going to do shut and then no shut. And so now we can see the port uh, went up. And if we minimize this, we can see that's good there. And just like that, it's working. So we're all good. Um, the bad guy was not able to get into our network. Our network is still secure and everything is safe and sound. However, as you can see, we're only using these first three ports. Another thing you can do for security reasons is just interface range fast ethernet zero slash. Uh, we're using ports two, three, and four, five through 23, and then just manually shut them down. Now, if we take a copper straight through and we plug it from port eight per se into there, it's not gonna do anything because it's already shut down. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really enjoyed it, tell me why in a comment, tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.